hello all today i will be explaining one of the drawbacks or say limitations of cosine similarity we all know that uh, in uh, data science or say in data mining to be specific and its applications in nlp and uh, many practical domains uh, we see that a vector algebra or linear algebra has a huge uh, application or a huge uh, impact because we use vector algebra everywhere for elemental uh, elemental and conceptual uh, representations say uh, we are aware of what is uh, cosine similarity we know what is cosine similarity uh, the cosine similarity we know is uh, say the cosine similarity we write the cosine similarity as uh, cosine of uh, say there are two vectors or yeah we can say vectors now that is v1 and v2 uh, we know it is uh, actually the dot product of these two vectors divided by the magnitude of these vectors we know this is the cosine similarity of uh, two vectors or actually in uh, physical terms we say this as cos theta where this theta is the angle uh, between v1 and v2 okay so uh, we know that cos theta where theta is the angle between v1 and v2 is equal to this expression now uh, we come into our mathematical application in uh, like say a data, a data mining say we have a vector uh, representation in a column matrix say v1 is 2 1 2 this is a column matrix that is actually called vector and uh, v2 is 4 2 and 4 okay which actually can be represented as like this or we can say it is 2 v1 right we can say uh, this so what is the cosine similarity of these two vectors that is cos of v1 and v2 will be equal to now from the physics uh, from the concept of physics or say uh, vector al algebra we know if this is a v v1 then in our case this is v2 this whole representation so they are aligned along the same direction so cos theta will be actually 1 as theta is equal to 0 now let us solve this mathematically as well okay so we know how to cal calculate the dot product it is actually as we have represented both these vectors in as a column matrix it should be v1 transpose v2 this is the sort of matrix multiplication uh, and this is the absolute value so this is uh, mod v1 mod v2 it actually becomes and the absolute value which becomes uh, 4 plus 1 plus 4 which is uh, 3 times uh, it is 16 plus 4 20 20 plus 16 that is 36 and its root is 6 so this actually is equal to 1 as we have found and we know that the maximum value of cos theta is actually 1 now uh, from cosine similarity it's or uh, the 
cosine similarity is one of these two vectors v1 and v2. So we can say that this v1 and, and v2, these two vectors are absolutely similar because the maximum value of the cosine similarity is one. But is but is it so? Is it like uh, say we have a vector uh, v v1 and we have the same uh, like a vector aligned across it as v2. Uh, so we can't say uh, that we literally can't say that uh, v1 vector is equal to v2 vector because uh, magnitude wise they are not equal. So the main uh, disadvantage of the cosine similarity is it does not take the magnitude of the two vectors into account because it only concentrates upon the direction or the sense of the two vectors. Now I am uh, describing two practical applications where these this method can be can be useful and can be misleading both uh, like each one but each will have will have an example like I'll give an example of one uh, practical application where you can see that only the direction of the, all the or the sense matters and on the other hand I will give another example where this cosine uh, similarity will uh, give disastrous results so let me explain that uh, let us consider there is a practical application okay uh, of say a recommendation system say uh, there is a, a recommendation system which is to be uh, designed a recommendation system and uh, for such a recommendation system, uh, what is the subject? The subject of the recommendation system is uh, we need to design a product recommender. Okay. And in a product uh, uh, recommendation system, say uh, a user one has liked uh, product P1. And it is a mobile uh, of it, yeah, say it is a, a mobile okay uh, and uh, it has certain and it is not a very good uh, phone it has uh, features which are it is a very old phone so it is a say it is a phone of Micromax company of uh, which was designed or which was purchased uh, on 2016 or 2015 so uh, say it has features which are not much of value. So it is very less uh, the quantification of the features or the quant uh, say the features are quantified by values like uh, F1, F2, continuation Fn. Okay, and uh, there is an another product which is also a mobile. Okay, but it has a feature matrix of f1 dash f2 dash continuation fn dash now we need to design a recommendation system the user has already known p1 or it has p1 now it wants another uh, phone like he wants to change his phone with a better alternative okay so uh, like if uh, it's uh, if this is so, like how we can recommend the user another phone and after that we need to say that it is better than the, the existing uh, phone, okay, e existing mobile. So we have a range of products in our uh, company. Say we have an e-commerce company and it has many products. Uh, and uh, sort of we have labeled them so uh, we have a category we have a category of mobile and there uh, we have several phones okay uh, we have uh, p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and many more now uh, we will be recommending the user from here only so if we are recommending these uh, like if 
uh, our website or our architecture is designed in this way then we will be recommending uh, phones or products from here so if we will be recommending the phones or products from here then uh, we will be ending up with uh, different feature matrices each explaining the features of the phone of uh, say uh, different products p1 is already in use now these have to be tested now if our recommendation system is based on cosine similarity that is cos of uh, p1 and p2 we will get zero uh, that is we will get uh, zero dissimilarity or say close to almost similar that is the angle between the vectors p1 and p2 will be almost equal to zero and we will get one but it is not so because p2 has better features or uh, say uh, say p2 is a phone of 2020 only it has been launched recently and it is a say a redmi phone okay uh, it is a redmi phone and it has many uh, many better features so p2 has better features so if uh, a recommendation system based on cosine similarity is uh, built then this will be a disaster because cosine similarity concentrates upon the generic similarity between two uh, like any two vectors they, whether they are in the same say you are told to uh, build a sentiment analyzer okay you are told to build a sentiment a analyzer that classifies positive and uh, negative sentiments you have word embeddings pre-trained word em embeddings of gloves or say you have glove pre-trained word embeddings pre-trained word embeddings means king Say there is a word king which is represented as a hundred dimensional vector and there is a word queen uh, not queen sorry there is a word emperor okay uh, you have a word emperor it also is a hundred uh, di uh, dimensional vector representation so uh, the thing is Uh, the thing is, uh, these uh, king and emperor, they are hundred dimensional vectors. Okay, now uh, the di the direction or the cosine similarity of king and emperor will almost be equal to one. Okay, because they are pointing in the same direction, but emperor is is much stronger than a king, so that strength will not be reflected in this cosine. Similarity, but say there is a word slave. Okay, uh, sentiment analyzer. Say the practical application is uh, say word embedding. I am uh, generalizing it as word embedding. Okay, so say there is a slave. It all it also has a hundred dimensional vector. Okay, now slave is almost opposite to that of a king. So the cosine similarity of slave and king. Will almost be equal to minus one because they are pointing towards opposite sense. Okay, it will almost be like uh, not uh, completely, but it uh, will almost be equal to minus one. Okay, so this is actually the representation of uh, vectors, but like of words in the form of vectors. Now, uh, this cosine similarity also has its application in recommendation system as well if say uh, say uh, there there is a harry potter fan okay uh, there is a great harry potter fan who is uh, searching videos from youtube and uh, he has uh, a video v, uh, he has seen the video v1 and he needs the recommendation of uh, many videos as well so he needs a recommendation uh, system for this so you can use cosine similarity here okay nothing wrong because more better video or videos video features etc those are not re uh, uh, those are not relevant he just wants to watch harry potter videos okay so cosine similarity is highly useful here as well okay so it depends upon the problem this disadvantage of cosine similarity failing to uh, like quantify uh, other than the directional sense is overcome by Euclidean uh, 
distance uh, similarity of uh, or see Euclidean distance actually the a dissimilarity metric. So Euclidean distance or there is another uh, like there is another metric which is the HB uh, distance as well. It is the Hellinger Bhattacharya distance. It uh, is used for yeah, it, it, it is a distance metric, but uh, the thing is it concentrates upon it has a unique feature like it uh, finds or extracts the similarity between any two vectors. Like if you do the scaling and all, then you will understand which I will be explaining these uh, features in my next video. Like uh, the uh, distance metric, which are the dissimilarity uh, quantifying uh, metrics, they can overcome the limitation, this limitation of cosine similarity. So that's all. Thank you.